Wales. Football news and struggling 2nd Division Reading travelled to 1st Division Queen's Park Rangers this evening for the first round of the Simod Cup. The latest score we have in that match is QPR 1, Reading 2. Well, meanwhile, non-league Weymouth are celebrating tonight after agreeing to let their goalkeeper go to 1st Division Tottenham Hotspur for a record fee of £100,000. It's just four months since Peter Guthrie was signed from Blythe Spartans on a free transfer. Spurs weren't the only club interested in Guthrie. He also attracted the attention of Manchester United and Newcastle United. Finally, a Dorset schoolboy has become one of the youngest ever karate black belts, even though he suffers from epilepsy. 12-year-old Andrew Woolcott from Dorchester took up the sport when he was six. Now he's hoping to travel to Japan to train with some of the world's best karate experts. That's it from us here in the south this evening. Now let's have a look at the weather tomorrow with Bill Giles. Hello to you. Well, I think it's going to be quite a stormy night tonight up in the far northern part. Already in the Butt of Lewis, the winds are gusting well above 60 miles an hour. And it certainly looks as though we're going to get these strong winds clipping across the northern part of Scotland, particularly up in Shetland. And then they'll be rushing their way down the northern part of the North Sea in towards Norway, in towards Denmark uh, by tomorrow morning. Well, the weather map looks like that just at the moment. And as you can see, these are where the strongest winds are. The ice bar is very closely packed together. And by midday tomorrow, the low will have pushed its way across in towards Norway, taking those strong winds across there with it. With the winds opening out, the winds dying down just a shade as we go through into tomorrow. And with the high pressure fairly close, really not too bad a day, I think, for most of us. At any rate, not too bad a night uh, down in the south, but a very stormy night in those northern parts with some showers around too. Further south, a good deal of cloud, but some pieces of rain and drizzle around, and uh, a bit foggy down in that extreme southern part. But clearer weather will be tucking its way down, getting down into the Midlands, getting across Wales into East Anglia before the end of the night. And there, I think, there could also be one or two fog patches later on. But uh, not a particularly cold night, except where the winds die down a shade. On the eastern side of uh, England there, you could get just a touch of frost. But the main feature tonight, the stormy weather up in those far northern parts. Now, down in the south, a good deal of cloud in the extreme south, bits of drizzly stuff around to start with tomorrow. This fog will be clearing, and indeed, in southeastern parts of England, It'll gradually brighten up, I think, as we go through the day. But at the same time, the duller weather with bits of drizzly stuff working its way back across Wales, working its way up across Ireland as well. Most other places, though, a much brighter day than today. A good deal of sunshine around, I think. Some gales to start with with the showers in the far northern part, but they'll be slowly dying away. And then for many northern parts, as I said, a dry day with a fair amount of sunshine and uh, reasonably warm too. I think temperatures up to about 8 Celsius, 46 Fahrenheit in the north. A little bit higher than that down in the south, 11 down in the far southwest, is 52 Fahrenheit. Well, that's it from me. Bye-bye. <laughs> Christmas movie classics on BBC One. The Maltese Falcon stars Humphrey Bogart in a story of greed. Oh, after 17 years. Twelve Angry Men stars Henry Fonda as a dissenting juryman. We're talking about somebody's life here. We can't decide it in five minutes, supposing we're wrong. Splendor in the Grass stars Natalie Wood and Warren Beatty. You think I'm supposed to not notice her? Is that what you expect out of me? I'm not even supposed to know girls like that exist. John Wayne stars in John Ford's The Quiet Man. I own the property now, and as long as we're going to be neighbors... Neighbors? Oh, neighbors! <laughs> Never! Who wants to wallow in champagne? I don't. And there's the all-star musical High Wayne? Society. I don't. Who wants a private landing field too? Just Wait, some of the classic films for Christmas on BBC I One. In a little less than an hour and a half, we come to the final part of the dramatisation of John le Carre's A Perfect Spy. Now on BBC One, a first television showing of the comedy feature film starring Gene Wilder, who comes face to face with his fantasy, Kelly LeBrock, The Woman in Red. <laughs>